Hey, this is Dan down at Daddy Jackson in London, 181 Bank Street. Um, I'm going to cook a pizza for you. It's called the Soupy and Roasted Peppers. I call it sausage and pepper pizza. Um, I'll take you through the process. We're going to be advertising this for the next couple of weeks, see how it goes, and we might put it on the menu. Okay, I've got my large pizza dough. Nice and fresh made. I'm going to flatten it out. The idea is to get it to probably a 15 to 16 inch pizza. This is very good dough. What I'm doing right now is I'm forming the crust. Try and stay off of that so I can keep a little minimal crust going. Just like that. Once I complete my circle, then I start stretching it. All I'm really doing is kind of pulling it out with this hand and just rotating it with that hand. I'm trying to keep as much in the middle as I can so that we don't get uh, weak spots. Staying away from that crust too because I still want you to have a little bit of crust on there. We're not big on big crust. We try to keep it as small as we can. And we're going for more of like a dark, a darker so in the wood fire oven. Um, average time is probably about four to five minutes I can cook the pizza. Right now what I'm doing is I'm trying to shift all the dough into, so it's centralized all throughout it. We can throw it up if we want. Trying to get no weak spots, keep it fluent all the way across. Right about now. Sometimes we make it on a board, sometimes we make it flat on a marble. I prefer the board because it doesn't stick, it slides right off. Alright. Grab some pizza sauce, put it right in the middle. Like that, a little bit more. Want to make sure you got a nice fluent sauce all the way around. I'll rotate it like that, just pushing it out towards the crust. Some people like less sauce, some people like more. Whichever you prefer, you can indicate when you come in. And we can make it the way you like it. Try and get as close to the crust without hitting it as we can, so you can get more of the pizza to eat. I usually take a little Parmesan, just sprinkle it over the sauce. And what I do with the soupy, I put it underneath the cheese so that it doesn't crisp on you and burn up. Put a nice layer on so every piece has got some. There we go. Just like that. And I'll take my uh, mozzarella cheese. Sprinkle that all over the top, make sure we cover every area, get up as close to the crust as I can. It's important to get to the crust so that you know you don't have any dry areas towards the end of the pizza. Plus, we all want to get enough cheese on there. I treat everyone like it's my first one. I don't skimp. I throw more items than less. Okay, that's like that. Then we'll take some peppers. These are uh red and green peppers right over the top. To me, like I said, it's like sausage and peppers. It's one of my favorite dishes. Being Italian, I love that. Put a good portion on there again, like I said. Just like that. Okay, now we'll throw it in our oven. First, I'll give it a quick test. Make sure I can get off the pile, see it slide. That thing's ready to go right away. Now we'll put it in our oven. Our oven's usually at the temperature of, I'd say, 650 to 700 degrees. That's why I can cook it so fast. There we go like that. And, like I said, four or five minutes will take to cook. Um, I'll get a nice golden brown. I do do my uh, crust a little darker than normal, but we're trying to go for a different style pizza. Plus, that's, that's the texture, that's how we're looking for it to come out of this oven. 
Well, being it's so hot in there, cooking so fast, the crust will be a little darker, but you'll like it. It'll be very crispy. Um, the flavor of the roasted peppers is amazing. probably about a couple minutes now so I want to make sure I rotate the pizza. As you can see it was smoking a little bit on one side that means that one side is ready. I'm going to gently go underneath it make sure I don't tear anything. And I'm going to give it a 180 rotate. Put the other side right there. Another two minutes that should be all done and ready to go. Okay about almost four minutes exactly pizza out. See how it looks. I see my other side smoking. There we are. See how my crust is a little darker? That's kind of what we're shooting for. If, um, if you ever did come in and you want a different kind of crust, just let us know you want it a little lighter than, than normal. But this is what we're going for. We think this is an ideal pizza. Um, it comes out great, nice and crunchy. And I love it. This is my favorite. Um, I'm going to cut it up and serve it. Um, please stop down and see Dan, the pizza man. We're making pizzas here all week. We got the sausage and pepper we're going to do this week, and I'll come up with some more recipes coming up. This is Dan, the pizza man, down at Daddy Jack's in New London, Connecticut, 181 Bank Street. Come see us.